Guys, we are back with the single life. Today, we're going to knock out Tyree, Chantel, who's that one weirdo? Natalie, knock them all out the park Brr, so that we can run up to the tell all Brr, with all our facts straight. Knowledge. Knowledge. You know, the tell all where all the nasty, grimy, dirt details are exposed, TLC dropping low blows left and right, paying everybody and their mamas to be witness confessions. You know, <laughs> yeah, that one. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's see what Tyree's been up to. It's getting real. Yeah, really real. We're here. A lot of pretty they ones cool. out here. Yeah, they cool. Yeah, I think you got a lot of options. Stop the cap. But them over there. I see a girl sitting next to us at a table. She has tats all over her. Really beautiful face. Way out of my league. Like, she looks amazing. She's like a, a fitness model. Stop the cap. I'm just this, you know, this lazy fat guy who just eats burgers all day. The self talk is crazy. I see a girl across the yard. 10 out of 10, supermodel S. 10 out of 10, Gigi Hadid. Holy moly, macaroni, gorgeous. Me, though, uh, I'm just a fat lemur that, that eat potato wedges all day, every day, because that's my ninja way. Uh, believe it. Believe it! Like, come on, bro. This man is glazing this woman hard. Fitness model? Uh, pushing it. Pushing it. I mean, she looks like a mean teacher. Corrupted nun with a paddle back in the day that might hit you if you didn't call her a model. Maybe. <laughs> but anyways, to recap, remember in the last episode, Tyre got stood up by Tiffany, so his brothers decided to take him out to New Orleans to maybe get him some action. I just want to introduce myself, Tyre. Hi, Hi. Oh, Hi. Cheers. Oh, yeah, cheers. Hi, guys. Hi. This is our girls weekend. Oh, yeah, boys. Are you guys having boys? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Cheers, you guys. Are y'all single? I am. Okay, well, my man right here, he's hella single. Like, hella. <laughs> hella single. Well, uh, I was in a four-year relationship. Okay. With a man. <laughs> Not like that. Nobody want to hear that. I'm like, bruh. Bruh is right. That's, that's wild to say. That's wild to say. This is a wingman's nightmare. Like, he didn't even try to elaborate. Like, he just made the whole crew look like we all eat Fruity Loops. Like, minus the, my man is hella, 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 hella single. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better assist. My man right here, he hella single. Like hella. Hella single. Like they literally held his hand up to the net, handed him the ball, held him up like Simba. Shoot the ball, brother. And he airballs it. I'm like, bruh. Now with the little help of Liquid Courage and TLC producers in the back holding a pot of gold like, say yes to Tyree. Money. Of course, I'd love to. She said yes to a first date. I invited Teresa to go on a voodoo tour and a lunch date. Like I felt a connection with her. Like she's really attractive. You gonna, you gonna try to like, you feel me, get a little smoochy? Do it. I guess we were both like looking at each other's eyes and drifting into each other's lips. I guess. What? I don't know. Maybe like if she hugs me again, I can kind of like. And then. Oh no! <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, that's not happening. That the projection is crazy. Like I don't know who was reading the room, but I was, and they had the most friendliest of friendly combos. I was like, this guy, he's a big teddy bear. Like I just want to be around him. Maybe she likes what I got. <laughs> But sure enough, here we are thinking about smooching it up, white picket fence, meeting the parents, la la land. Like this is the same guy who said his first kiss had to be like this. You know, on, on a boat with lights, you know, the swan boats, and um, it kind of reminds me of Little Mermaid. What? You know, when the, uh, the frog is singing. What? <laughs> Wait, there's no frog in that movie. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it was a Leo the Lobster. <laughs> it was a Leo the Lobster. <laughs> What? Brother, we don't even know who this woman is. She could be a crackhead. Straight up. But no, Tyre, uh, that wouldn't be a deal breaker. Uh, we got no deal breakers here. <laughs> Ricardo, pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you, Ricardo. I'm Tyre. Tyre, we're going to be kicking off our little tour right here. And there's one more, right? Yeah, she should be here any All minute. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, Teresa? Hi, Tyre. <laughs> Hope I don't smell like must and sweat <laughs> and tears. So <laughs> oh, oh that's so funny. <laughs> what? Hi, right, my friends found me this way. All right. What we're going to do is talk about an interesting tale that involves true crime, murder, uh -oh. mutilation, and <laughs> jail to lovers as well. The tour guide is talking about pretty much me and Teresa's past in a way, which is kind of ironic. You know, Teresa and her jilted lover, ghost, and I got ghosted. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, the, the reach is insane. Dare I say delusional. Man, you boys won't believe it. The, the signs were jarring. Tour guide was talking about ghosts, remember? Ghosted? Voodoo? Teresa was wearing a voodoo shirt? He said murder? We got murdered in the heat? Together? I said, Lord, say no more. <laughs> she is the one. 
God bless. And I swear in some of these clips, like these people are just popping out like NPCs. Ricardo, pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you, Ricardo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where did that dude come from? But anyways, as far as the day goes, it was pretty close to what I thought it'd be, you know, awkward, weird, hot, sweat, just drenching. <laughs> At one point, you could just tell she was, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I promise not to stab you with a sugar cane. What? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, it looks like the car's on the way right now. Okay. A few moments later. So what do you want in a partner? Love of travel, I think, is probably top of my list. What about you? Um, I would say, yeah, travel. Boy, if you don't get... So how do you feel about, like, long-distance relationships? Uh, so I'm on a journey right now to figure out who I am. But I do have to get back to the girls' trip, but we're going to stay in touch. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Yeah, so to Ray try to pull a fast one and pretend like we weren't going to notice, we see everything. Every Love of travel, I think, is probably top of my list. So how do you feel about, like, long-distance relationships? Boy, if you don't get... You like traveling, eh? Uh, me too. Now, how do you feel about long-distance relationships? Lots of traveling, I heard. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get... And she gave out the answer that every single person gives out when they know that you're single and ready to mingle, but you don't want to mingle with them. Um, yeah, so I'm on this journey of self-growth and mastery of Nirvana, trying to center my inner peace and dialogue so that I could, and mastering all the ben, air bend, avatar, avatar bending techniques. Um, yeah, that's why I don't really have time to date right now. Oh, <clears throat> uh, golly, uh, speak of the devil, would you look at the time? <laughs> but I do have to get back to the girls trip. So she dips, never seen or heard of again, basically a MIA missing person at this point. I think Tyree knows, but it's okay, baby. Experience, experience. We're just trying to level up, level up like a runescape. So we try again, Tyree goes out, cold approach a couple women, so you'll see in the back, money. And uh, to no surprise, we got somebody to bite. Great, all right, nice. This girl is on the dance floor. She's the life of the party. All eyes are on her, including mine. <laughs> and she's thick. <laughs> All right, we go talk outside. Oh. No, she Uh, nothing right now. I take care of my mom. She got sick. Oh, maybe we can hang out tomorrow. Or Sunday. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm free all day. Yeah, to be completely honest, if I'm a woman, I'm drier than the Sahara Desert. Like, the story doesn't even add up. No, she did Um, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Mama, I'm taking care of my mom. She's sick. But hey, uh, you want to hang out tomorrow? Uh, I'm free. Sunday too. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm free all day. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't even add up. Like, you have no job because you don't have time because mom is sick. Yeah, you're halfway across the country in New Orleans taking shots and picking up women. Though. Red flags is just... Brrr. A few moments later. Where'd you get these beads? Do you want them? The beads? Yeah. You want to give them to me? Yeah, but you know what? You got to do something to get them. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. Yeah, if the first interaction didn't do it, this one definitely did. You know, dug his own grave. Nailed his own coffin. And P.S. He he didn't get the kiss. He got the friendly, you can kiss my cheek. Fast forward, we're at the poolside. Mind you, he's known this woman less than 24 hours. They probably hung out less than two hours. And he's popping the question. We have that chemistry, I feel like. But still, it's like so soon. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's yeah. say we like hit it off. Would I be that person, you think? Uh... Um, too soon. So yeah, he gets rejected again. Uh, no surprise. I feel like the women see him as this really nice, genuine, sweet-hearted guy. We're not trying to hurt no feelings. We're just curious why he's rolling with a camera crew. So we're going to put him down, you know, nice and gentle, like the way we see him. Good boy, good boy. Go on. Go on and play now. <laughs> I think he would make the best boyfriend ever. But for me, it's just more like with a time thing. Like, I definitely feel like I've met him before. I've known him. Like, we've met 
in another life or whatever what? you want to say. But yeah. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's always the, uh, he would be the best boyfriend ever. Bliss. Like literal heaven. Happiness every single day, 24-7. I would never want to leave. But um, for me, I'm on this journey of self avatar avatar <laughs> now halfway across the globe miss chantelle's also doing a couple first dates remember her sparta spartan man washboard abs greek god leonidas i forgot his name already who the fuck is that guy leonidas <laughs> but uh, yeah let's see what's shopping hey, with the champagne okay, watch your steps guys <laughs> hi your personality your personality seems very calm calm what? What do you expect out of somebody to date? Like, what are you, what are you looking for? Calm. What? You want kids? Yeah. Have kids. Yeah. When? You think I have some of those qualities? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna give me a reason to? Yeah. 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 So yeah, their combo was drier than the women Tyre was talking to, which is crazy because they're literally standing in the ocean. Like it really felt like it took him every last three brain cells to forge up this complete sentence to avoid the awkward silence of the ocean. Like you know, some people have like an RBF face. This man has an RALGF face. Resting, always looking guilty face. Like he stays looking like he just got caught doing something shady. Yeah. Yeah. Now the one thing he did ask was about Pedro. So you were married before? And I bet you Chantel's like, Ooh wee, say no more. I could talk about this man all day. I was married for seven years. So what went wrong? From the day I met his family, they hated, they wanted to use me for citizenship. That's not good. It's not. So... Yeah, if you ever get arrested, this is the one that you don't want as your alibi. Use you? Citizenship? <clears throat> uh, that's not good. No. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not good. You? Wanna do it again? Yeah, this dude's boring. Uh, personality, acorn. Chantel kinda does too. She just has a hectic family around all the time so you don't realize how boring she is. Honestly, if it wasn't for her friends, uh, Target would rebrand these two as their version of NyQuil. Like, if they ever come back and he's not in America with the rest of the family, like, you would have to put a gun to my head to, uh, watch some of these scenes. <laughs> but I digress. Now, we know why Chantel's here. But we know what she really wants. Buddy. A few moments later. So she gets a couple smoochies at the beach. Everything's colors, rainbows, happiness. Salty kisses. It's like, oh, so hot. Next day comes around. He invites her to an eating festival. She doesn't get the same amount of smoochies. She's not happy. Enjoy, enjoy. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> you, is it, you try. It's, it's tasty. Is it slimy? No, no. I don't like snails. It tastes like snot. You're supposed to give me a kiss. Got a weak kiss. I'm like expecting him to take me in his arms and like be really cuddly, close, and I'm not getting that from him. Well, I'm sorry, Chantel. I didn't realize we were at a snails eating festival where we're eating with our hands and you want to reenact Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, you don't even got to eat the snail. J just be the snail, you know, like slow your roll, buddy. So she throws a little passive aggressive tantrum. Thus, on her last day, he felt obligated to make it up to her with a surprise date. I'm going on a surprise date. He's invited me on a date with an address but didn't really explain what's happening. Welcome. Welcome. We're at a field. <laughs> this is where I train and play games and like most of my life. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. So what I love about football yeah. is let's walk around. Come. Um, what I love about football is um, is a team sport. Oh, wow. Where you have teammates and you it's not just you. Team oriented. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't make this up. Like, he got her dressed up in red bottoms and took her to the equivalent of your local YMCA basketball court. Uh, since the cameras are here, we might as well do a little video biography of my life, right? Uh, what I love about football. I love football. Like, Chantal loves talking shit about Pedro. Same thing, Chantal. Same, same passion. Oh, wow. Now, the convo dries up quick, but he gives her a little smoochie. And now we're flying back to the US. Happy Hanky Dory. Now moving on to the weirdo Natalie, remember my last video, she broke up with Josh, two days later meets up with Mike and now she's ready to confess her feelings. Maybe set him up with a little baby trap, you know, lock him down for 18 years. 
There are a lot I have been thinking about lately. From early beginning that I came to America, I wanted family. We never had a chance because the COVID start. It was really hard on us. It's like I wanted my industry so bad, so I kind of burned bridge between you and me because of mm-hmm. the work I wanted to do. I lost something really important, much more than money, work. I lost family. Would we consider ever coming back and have a child together? <laughs> Yeah, quite a bit late there to uh, backtrack your hop there, little grasshopper. I swear, if Mike doesn't say no, I'm soon TLC for, for my mental well-being. Like, why are we stuck in this purgatory? Why do I feel like I'm stuck in Tsukiyomi? Like, I'm tired of seeing these two. Like, this script is done, bro. Throw it away. Let it go. Mike, please, shut this shit down. No. Why? Because I'm ready to move on, Natalie. Praise the Lord! You're my husband. You're like, move on, man. I, I care about you and I. You're my, there, there my husband. There is no me and you. Praise! You, you yeah, made that choice, Natalie. You made that. You lie. I, I was not thinking then about... This is what you wanted and you got it. Praise the, Lord. the grass is not always greener on the other side. You can't backtrack towards me. I'm not your backup plan. Thank you, God! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Thank God. This girl is like a ping pong table. Back and forth. Nobody knows what Natalie wants. Natalie doesn't know what Natalie wants. I'm just happy he didn't let it fester. He shut it down. Bruh. Ended this whatever this is now I'm fully aware that part one of the tell all is already dropped so might as well run it tonight part one of an unbelievable 90 day fiance event when was the last time you two spoke to each other i mean she slept over last night i don't know what the fuck? <laughs> i done told y'all bro this is natalie ping pong table that's all i gotta say Ping pong table. You told Chantel not to bring home another man who needs a visa. Yes. You need to get your own visa to come here 50-50 in effort. I don't agree with that. Wrong answers. I'm telling you guys, without family Chantel, this is 10X NyQuil, Target brand. So the tell-all starts, we're in New York City, everybody's glammed up. I don't know if the producers were like, hey, Sean and everybody here, look, uh, Tyre really doesn't have a storyline, so, so I want everybody to poke him about being a virgin. He's 33, virgin. Done. That's what we're going with. Because that's what it seems like. Tyre, we saw you navigate a few potential relationships. What did you learn about yourself in the process? Just to not, you know, be so afraid and, you know, being with someone, you know, afraid of a heartbreak. Tyre, are you still a virgin? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Tyre, your brother said that you need to be more of a bad guy. I think he has a point, uh, for sure. That's crazy. Sean, Sean went straight to it. Uh, so yeah, Tyre, we saw you on a show talking to a couple chicks. Uh, are you still a virgin? Like, if you're looking for confidence, Tyre, this show is not it. Like, <laughs> if anything, they're looking to expose you. Front cover page of every news article. If it wasn't for the cloud, I'd be like, hop off the show. So she brings up that Tyre is now contemplating about being a bad boy. And the producers were like, hey. We know one. Well, we know a guy who refers to himself as a bad boy. He claims to have been with more than 2,500 women. Oh, Surfer! No. Oh, oh, no, no, no. W- what are your thoughts about why he can't connect with women? It is that giggling. You always giggle, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny the way he said it, but I think this is all BS advice. The giggling can be much, right? But that's him. That's Tyre. Like, that actually kind of works in his favor because that makes him approachable. Like, I don't know when everybody thought it was okay to, like, virgin shame this man. Like, half the cast was like, why are you a virgin? And the other half was like, it's okay, Tyre. You'll find somebody. Don't worry. It's okay. Like, none of this stuff is helpful. The advice are terrible. So, this move called tiger attack. In the middle of the dinner, you will get up and go to the bathroom. From that point, you are a tiger and she is your hunt. You will silently, sneaky, quietly, will approach her from the back. Kiss her neck from the back. Let her feel your lips on her neck. And you will feel cuffs on your hand. Like, that sounds like a surefire way to get an SSO charge. Like, maybe Sarper could pull it off, but Tyre? No. <laughs> no, no. It would be bad. It would be bad. Like, you would be giggling 
while being accused. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> and at one point, I don't even know what Sarper was thinking when he said this. What do you do for your confidence, Sarper? You seem very confident. Being a virgin in 33 years is not a thing that you can be proud of. If you can't find, hire them. You understand oh my what God. I mean. I said the same okay. thing. That's the most wild advice I've heard on this show. Like, they trying to lock my boy up. And like the advice is obvious. Like, I don't know if the cast are scared of hurting his feelings and nobody wants to be canceled, but the advice should be work on yourself, hit the gym, get better eating habits, gain some new cool hobbies, do something for work other than taking care of mom. Because the truth is, you gotta have something going. And like everybody on this panel knows this, but nobody wants to tell them the truth. Like literally Chantel comes right after this and she starts naming out a whole laundry list of what she looks for in a man. And half the female cast are like, yep, yep. What did it feel like to put yourself back out there? It felt very awkward at first, but now I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, Chantel, you said you wanted a Spartan man who was totally different adventurous, successful, compassionate, patient, and well endowed. I'm 32 years old. I look good. I want my man to look good too. And um, I want them to have a career. I rest my case. I rest my case. I rest my case. I mean, Tyre, if you ever wanted to know what women are looking for, just toggle back to part one and listen to Chantel again. I look good. I want my man to look good too. And um, I want them to have a career. <laughs> That's my case. But other than that, that pretty much ended part one, skimming through all the boring people. So uh, I'll see you guys in part two. But as always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to let me know down below if you think I'm wrong. Because at the end of the day, hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping. Love.